All right, so previously we finished off with the layouts and navigation. In this video, we're going to be going through the legends customization for the drill down graph visual. Now, as always, within the sample report, you already have your pre built example, so you can go ahead and explore that. For now, we're going to go into the training view and actually create the visual from scratch. So, first things first, let's add an instance of the graph visual. Let's just resize it a bit so it has more room and also let's disable the background and the title. We're not going to be using those in this case. Going into the field section, it's going to be relatively simple. Source nodes, target nodes, value, and then we're going to be using the legends column within the category class field. The reason for this is because this is a specific column I created just to have a little bit fewer columns than what we had on the initial setup. So we use it here. Now we have to scroll down and find also target category class and drag in the same column. There we go. Now we have our three distinguished categories here. Going back into the formatting options, here we go. We can see that the legends is actually disabled. So if you want to have legends within the drill down graph visual, you have to manually enable them. Once you do that, you have some additional settings where you can customize the graph visual. The first thing is going to be the position. So you can adjust whether this is going to be at the bottom, top, right, or left. Afterwards, you have your height, where you can define how high is the actual block for the legends. Afterwards, you have your marker sizes, and then you finish it off with the font styling options. Things that you can change are font colors, sizes, font families, and also font styles. Now, but this is not it. When you first look at the categories, you can see that they're just called category one, two, three. Actually, how you can change the name for them is if you go right here under the formatting options and you find the node categories that we actually assigned, I'm going to enable all of them. So at this point, I'm initializing individual customization for them. And now I can open up that tab, find a color mode and say that this one's going to be fixed. And then you can assign a specific category for that particular node setup. So we can assign a purple color for category one, enable category two, change it to fixed, and here we're going to assign a pink color. There we go. And the third tab right here, node category three, find the color mode, adjust it to fixed. And we're going to say that this one's actually going to be, let's say, light green. So there you go. This is how you adjust the colors for them. But if you scroll a bit up, you also see that we have a category name. So this is where you have a free text field, which allows you to type in whatever you want. It also allows you to have a localization support. So you can have numbers with special characters. All right, that's going to be it for the Legends customization, and I'll see you in the next video.